Yo, we look like two old niggas, boy. <laughs> OGs, like, man. Oh, man. Um, hey, everybody, what's going on? This is your boy, Pablo. And that's all I'm going to give y'all today. More AKAs and HBCU pinkies up. I'm tired, and I got some horrible news today. But I'll, I'll fill y'all in after my man, my mellow, do what he do. It's your boy, the Bleach Cricket, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, the chlorine the cockroach. The chlorine cockroach. Um, Doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> we should we should just have a we should just have people write in what their most racist white names are, and I'll just use all of them. I'll start going down the list, and I'll pick okay. names. And every week that'll be my new AKAs, whatever you can call I'm, white. I'm glad you said the white names because I I, I want to open up the can of worms. I'm like, yo, what's the racist thing you can come up with? Hey, they can put in whatever. You can say some, I can say some, but I'll be whatever they call me. You know, I grew up and uh they always called us white, poor white trash. So um that's gonna be your boy, poor white trash today. Okay, okay. Um I got complimented on my gray hairs today, sir. I'm trying to tell you, man. Come on over, man. I man, I get, I get so many girls that tell me that salt and vinegar look is going to Yo, I, I walked into a teacher's classroom, and then she was like, how long you had this? I said, I've been having my beard. She said, no, 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 no. The, the highlights. How long have you had the highlights? And I was like, I always had the highlight. I just comb it down so you, can, you can't see it as much. She's like, no, let it out. Let it out. It looks so good. I'm not. I'm not hitting on you. I'm not hitting on you. But I'm don't call saying. HR. I'm not. I'm not saying. You know, <laughs> yeah. I'm not violating anything here. But uh, old Jewish woman. She's like, oh, I'm not hitting on you. They just, I like it. I like it. Old Jewish woman. She don't know what to do with that black dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I told her, yeah, I'm gonna shave my head. She's like, no, 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 no. I love your hair like that. I was like, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. It's starting to get weird now. Yeah, nobody loves my hair like this. <laughs> like, she's she's about to ask for some child support in a minute. Right. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. And she was like, yeah, you know, my husband, he has a full head of hair. You know, even if you lose a little bit of it, you're still good. You know, you know, it's not like all the way back. I was like, okay. <laughs> Her husband ain't doing something at home. Something. Something. And I was like, yeah, you know, it used to be red. And she's like, yeah, redheads do go gray earlier than most people. And I was like, Yeah, you heard that's why I told Junior all the time. I'm like, it turned red before it turns gray. So it's yep. like, yeah, red hair here and there. I was like, uh -huh. yeah. Yep, it's going, it's going, yeah, it's gonna go white. She said she tried to grow hers out. Then she felt like you. She's like, nah, that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do it. And then she hooked all that shit back up, <laughs> shit back yep. to brown again. <laughs> and she told me a secret too about your white folks. He said, if you see a white person that's blonde past the age of 40, they die in their shit. Oh, man. She's she's giving out the common yeah. sense secret. Yeah. <laughs> ask, ask your white sister about that. She'll tell you. Yeah. She, I was like, what? She's like, yeah. If, they, if you see them still fully blonde after 40, they die in their shit. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, shit. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna have to find her. She can't be giving out secrets. <laughs> this is like the Illuminati and shit. Yeah. yeah, she at your uh she at your son's old school. She right next to my she her room right next to mine. I saw your homegirl the other day. Which one? The uh you know the one that used to teach there at the elementary. Oh, for real? oh okay. Right. Nice. She ran up on me like she was about to take it. Hey. Hey, they, they bold like that now, man. I'm like, whoa, whoa, calm down. <laughs> He's like, I thought you I thought you moved. I thought you weren't around here no more. Like, oh god, I'm trying to keep keep low and stay away from you. Nah, man. You gotta you gotta come back to the scene of the crime every once in a while, man. <laughs> nah, I'll pass. Yeah. Bruh, she she I my tickets went down significantly when she left <laughs> i'm sure yeah like like people just stop asking me questions after she left that's all but yeah um so you know my tooth been hurting i didn't want to go see the dentist today in uh in Anne Arundel county you know went to the went to the white folks you know the, the good the good stuff um 
And they said, your tooth looks fine. It hurts, but it looks fine. Don't you want to keep it? And, you know, me going to, you know, the hood, then I'm like, nah, let's pull that shit out. He's like, you know what? Hold up. He left, came back, and he said, no, we're not pulling your tooth. I said, I'm paying for this. Fuck you, mean? <laughs> you not pulling my... T- pull this bitch. He's like, no. Finish your antibiotics. You only got two days left. Take the pain pills. We're going to get you a root canal. You're going to be good. Mm-hmm. My eyes got big, and he was like, root canals are not like it used to be. It's more like you uh getting the feeling now. That, that, that's that's how that's how easy the process is. I said, basically, I'm like, bro, like, because every time I heard of a root canal, I, people was out for two, three days, their mouth swollen. They said, it's not even like that anymore. It's like it's nowhere near that, bro. I went and got one on lunch break. Yeah, and went back to work, and was the only thing I had to wait for was the numbing to wear off. He said, give it about an hour, 45 minutes or an hour, it'll wear off. I got a root canal, went to work like it was nothing. It was fine. Yeah? Yeah, that's how they are now. Like, I, yep. Bruh, he told that the, the lady at the front desk, she was like, my mom came in here. She got a root canal. She went home, went to sleep, woke up. She, she's going about her business. Yeah, I went, I went for my lunch break, went there, got it done. Maybe took him an hour. Yeah, Going back to work about 45 minutes. All the numbness was gone. I was fine. Yeah, she told me she was like, I booked you for an hour and a half. You're not gonna need it. But I just I just put up I just booked the window for an hour and a half. You're gonna be good. And I was like, huh. and you get to keep the tooth. See? So and then he's gonna fix this too. So I'm gonna get my smile back so you can stop making fun of me. <laughs> See, them white people do it. They want you to look good. They're trying to make sure that you know. You yeah, it's on the paperwork now. It's not even like, like what you you know you do, what you have in your family. It, it got at the bottom. How do you want to fix your smile? And they got like a whole shit down there. Like you want a whiter, you want more teeth, you all that shit. I'm like, hey, okay. That's because that's how they get their business. Like I you see. know, people love their smile. So yeah. hey, you get a good smile. Where'd you get that smile? Where'd you get that done? Boom. Recommend. Right. Yeah, I'll get my podcast smile, man. Be like. You got that you got to pull up the thing where it sparkles when you smile. Yep. <laughs> I'm like ding. Oh man. Um so let's get to the, the, the fun shit first. Uh some nudes leaked. Some fucking nudes leaked, sir. Did you see them? I didn't see them. You didn't? I didn't. Oh, you want to see them? Yeah, why didn't you send them to me? Oh, I, I thought you saw them. Like they was everywhere. Hold up. Oh I've been busy God. today. Okay. These when I when I do you, you know who news I'm talking about? No. Okay. So I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm just gonna let you see him. I'm just gonna let you see it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I know it's not Faith Hill. Nope, it's definitely not Faith Hill. You you on you on the right side of the mountain though. You on the right uh, side okay. of the mountain though. On the island of Caucasus. On the def- we say the island of caucus, the person might not think so. <laughs> she was in the news talking about uh she's not from the island of caucus. Oh, hold up. Wait. I think I might know who you're talking about. I'll wait to see. Wait, it's not letting me save. Oh bro, you got a screenshot or do something. That's crazy. Hold up. Yeah, check the chat with me, you and Phil. Yeah, I did share it with you. See, I told you I'm a good friend. He gonna tell me I ain't share it. Because Phil didn't know who that was. Okay, so her her nudes? Yep, her nudes. Where they at? So Where they at though? Keep going. It's gonna I only see the I only see the the screenshot. Nah, so go to go up there where you see our face at and tap it. And then scroll down to photos and hit see all. And they should be right there. Gotta teach this man how to find photos. <laughs> you still don't see it? Nah, I, I just see the one um 
in her like lingerie. That's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's only. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold oh, you on. You got it. You got it. How'd I miss uh, the three of them, right? Yep. Right? Yep. How'd I miss these? I don't know. Because maybe Phil was, he started acting, he asked um, stupid questions afterwards. So you was like, fuck it. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, we're talking about uh, Miss Rachel Dozel. Um, she has an OnlyFans now. And her news leaked. Somebody got on the OnlyFans and uh, they leaked their news. So, best friend, you've seen a lot of news in your lifetime. Yeah. Where do you rank Miss Rachel Dozel's news? Are we talking about a scale of one to 10? Yes, sir. Are we taking the face in consideration and just the nope. news? No, nope. take, take take the face out because we know what she looks like. Okay, yeah, take the face out because I'm going to take the face out. Mm-hmm. I think on a scale of one to 10, the, from what I see from the three pictures, mm-hmm. this solid eight. Okay, okay. I said the same thing. Yeah, you know, nice, you know, nice size breasts. You know, I'm a breast man. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I definitely, you know, if if I could just put a bag over her face, you know, I definitely, you know, wouldn't kick her out of bed. How old do you think she is? I'm um, looking at the nudes. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go with probably about 44. Nigga, really? Yeah. How old is she? Fucking 44, bro. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell she she tries to keep it looking young, which I don't. Uh-huh. I, I'm not mad at it. Mm-hmm. And uh, but you can definitely tell she's got a little bit of uh, you know, experience to her. Yes, she does. She's a little seasoned. Hey, you know, I might slide in that DM and just be like, hey, send me some more. I'm not paying. Yeah, hey, uh, ten dollars. That's it. She want. She want. She want. Uh, apparently that's the medium for uh new uh for OnlyFans. People, ten dollars. Charge ten dollars. Yep, that's it. Like you gotta be like some real big time person to charge like twenty twenty five dollars. All right, that gives me an idea. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you, you should have been started one. Should have been started one, bro. I have yeah, to tell I you something that. off the air. Then I got an idea. <laughs> Toxicology uh, Patreon coming soon. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I found that interesting that that, that just randomly leaked, like it just popped up and. Bro, that's just like, so for example, you know, you got all these people who's making, like Black China's making all this money. What'd she make, like 20 million or whatever it was? or some crazy 20 amount. Million. 20 well, million. I pay it's, half of that to rob them, so. Yeah, but you can Google her and see her news for free. Yeah. So who's paying that? And if you used to go to the strip clubs back in the day before she was famous, you saw them already. Yeah, it's crazy though, because like you literally can Google most people. Mm-hmm. And see their stuff for free, like Selena Gomez. Somebody posted some stuff about her the other day, and I'm yep. like, "Why would anybody pay OnlyFans for this when you can just see this stuff?" Yo, like, there's some site that posts all celebrity nudes, right? Like, and I don't. That's why I understand how people make money off of OnlyFans. You know? Because there's just some fat, lazy white guy at home who just has like some cheese pizza left in his mm-hmm. goatee. No t-shirt, titties hanging down underneath his armpits, and he's like yep, yelling at his mom because she's telling him to get off the sofa because he's fat and lazy. He's yeah. the one paying for it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, because even Rosa has one, but she's not naked. And she's she, making money. Yeah, she makes money. $20 a, 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 a subscriber. Like, She's wearing a full, she wearing a full bikini and, and showing her abs, and she ain't got to show the titties. Rachel Dozo out here ten dollars with the titties out. Yeah, is that sex work? Yeah. What, yeah. What's the difference? I'm no, I'm, I'm asking. You know, you know, if you're Phil, you pick up a girl in the car and be like, "Hey, ten dollars, let me see your titties." What's the difference? Right. True. You know, you get. Can you imagine getting busted by the police for picking up a girl for sex work? And you'd be like, I didn't even get no sex. I just paid to see her titties. Right. And that, and they, I think that's what people say is the difference. People like Phil be like, well, we didn't fuck. So it's not sex. Still offered her money for a, I guess, a sexual, sexual explicit to, act or whatever. To see the titties? That's not a sexual act. It's an explicit act. Yeah, it is. 
Hmm. So you're paying for an explicit act. True. Why do you think you can't touch the strip clubs? You can't down south. I have up here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you pay the extra or you just touch it? Nope. So I literally, at one time, I took my wife. Uh, well, we used to go like every weekend. And um, they used to like, I'd get her lap dance and they'd pull her titties and everything out and just suck on her titties and be like, oh, come on. You get one, I yeah. get one. Like w- women have way, way more fun in the goddamn right. strip club. Yep, absolutely. Way more fun. That shit's not even fair. My sister don't like going because she said the, they always put the, their pussy in her face. That's what it is. Right. I, I don't see the problem. Like I don't. I don't see a problem. Sex work. Sex worker meaning. Sex workers are adults who receive money or goods in exchange for consensual sexual service, erotic performances, either regularly or occasionally. Yeah, see? So that means everybody who's married or in a relationship is a sex worker. Pretty much. (laughs) You say, hey, let's have sex. You're doing whatever, and then you pay for dinner. Yep. Pay their rent, pay their whatever. So if if I take Shorty on a date, and I get something later, she's a sex worker. Exactly. I've been saying that for years. Like, what's the difference? Okay. Like, if I take you out to dinner and I pay for dinner and then you go home and you we have sex, like, you're basically a prostitute. Shout out to the prostitutes out there. In the legit relationships or yes. first time Shout dating. Shout out to the, the legit prostitutes. Fucking sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sex workers. Richard Dozo, keep doing your thing. 44 years old, you know. Damn, yeah, we, went keep... to, we went to high school with her. Look, whoever um whoever posted those and leaked those, keep keep leaking them. I'm trying to see more. Yo, we would have went to high school with Rachel Dozo. She literally looks like she got a little bush there. And that, yeah, that one yeah, picture, like, you yeah, look yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, can, I can see, like, little Harry Bush right here. Yeah, that, that's that 70s baby. That's the 70s baby in her. So, uh... We reported last time about PNB Rock. People actually liked that conversation we had about that because they said we got real serious and we made it fun, but it was still serious. Um, a suspect has been uh, apprehended. A 17-year-old teenage child is the shooter. The bad part of this story is his father was the getaway driver. Did they say why? They was in the parking lot of the Roscoe's when his girlfriend posted, hey, we here. And his dad was like, let's just do it. For what? For money. And they burnt the car later like on some goddamn SVU shit. Did they rob him? Did they get money? Did they get jewelry? They, yeah, they, they robbed him, and I guess he he bucked, and then that's when they they did what they did. Because he, he had all, he had all his chains on. He had the, the P and B rock chain, the big link chain. He had all that on him when he was in the Roscos. See, the dad said, "Hey, if we get caught, nothing's going to happen to you because you're yep. under eighteen." That's exactly giving him bad I, advice. Yep. Because what, like, they're going to charge you as an adult. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so don't 17. Believe yeah, don't believe that shit. You're 17. You're done as an adult yeah. for murder. Yep. Like, your dad's an idiot. Yeah, like, he, like, he should have had better parenting. Yeah, you... only That only way that you're not getting charged shit may work if you're, like, fucking 12. Then they give you juvenile life, and then if you prove to them at 18 that you're not fucking crazy, they may let you go. But, yeah, like, you 16, 15, you going to jail with the big boys. And the big boys is going to poke you in your bookie. I'll tell you that yep. shit right there. And your dad ain't going to be there. He's going to nope, be somewhere cause, else. Because you can't be in the same place with your relatives. So they got to move you somewhere else. Yep. Terrible decision. Yeah, like I saw that. Because they said 17-year-old, right? Then they showed the picture. I was like, this motherfucker ain't 17. And if you say, if you say what I think you're going to fucking say, you petty as shit. I just want you to know that. What, a little day-day? That's the dad. 
Go ahead, Zach. I ain't Who saying nothing. Like? Who you look like? I ain't saying nothing. He don't, he don't, he don't look like a, 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 a certain five nine host. Oh, I'm not saying nothing. He looks, <laughs> just, he, he looks like he came from the, the mean streets over there. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> Yo, I saw that Did shit. You I, it up. It looked like him. Yo, as soon as I saw that, I, I wanted to call him. Like, yo, where you at? <laughs> but yeah, that's the dad. They say 17 year old and they showed that picture. I was like, who the fuck is 17 in this picture? But then they said that he's a getaway driver. Burnt the car. So he, he can't even spend the money. Like, he, he killed them last week. He, he can't even spend the money. What's wrong with people out there, man? Hey, man. It's California is expensive, but damn, bro. All for nothing. You just happen to be in the parking lot. You know, instead of like, yo, let's go in there and meet him. It's like, yo, let's go in there and, you know, rob his ass and shoot him. Right. You might get some advice from him, you know. He might, help, he might teach you how. He might put you in a position and get some money somewhere. Right. Oh, well. Their life over. Your dad fucked your life. Your dad probably didn't give a fuck about life, so he fucked your life and his life. So, pretty much. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> he said he looked like one of the people. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, what else happened? Coolio passed away. R.I.P. Legend. Legendary. Legendary. So what's the difference between a legend and legendary? Um, I think legendary is, you know, somebody who's just out of reach of being a legend. They're they're known. They have maybe that one hit wonder. Maybe, you know, they're known out in the, the streets and mm-hmm. everywhere you go, you know that person. It's not like hey you know are you nope you know who that is uh-huh. but when you're a legend like i would say you have more sales okay. if we're talking about music you got more yeah. sales more notoriety more yeah. everything okay. uh, i don't think people are beating down the tour bus door to see so. him versus where if it's somebody else like you like got people right, like like a snoop showed up right you got people got surrounding the bus being on the bus trying mm-hmm. to get on the bus like he can he can go to the mall comfortably. Exactly. You might have two or three people come up to him. Yeah. Snoop go to the mall. You got the whole mall causing a riot. Gotcha. Bigger song, Gangsta Paradise, Fantastic Voyage. Gangsta Paradise. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that was the, the, it was a the serious. <laughs> like that that obviously put him on. Um. And I think right now people would probably pump that and turn that up more than they would uh fantastic voyage they fantastic voyage come on it's like oh okay this is cool you know turn the channel he got a grammy for gangsta's paradise so i kind of kind of agree so yeah man fucking coolio hey man everybody gets well they say cardiac arrest so i'm just hoping like you know you read that and you're like okay so he he probably gonna have some type of stuff in his system when the blood work comes back. Like all these people that you know we lose so early, like could still be around if they just weren't doing what they were doing. Yeah, they said, and probably fentanyl. That's, that's probably what the fuck is going on. Because I don't know why they still fuck with fentanyl. Like, right? You can't, you can't even touch it for real. Like, like pure fentanyl, you can't even touch it because it absorbs into your skin. And people still fuck with it. I, I don't get it. Um, but that's that's just a, a junkie's um, mentality, you know. Somebody yeah. dropped dead from it. Oh, that shit got to be fire, and they go get that shit. Yeah, anyway. that shit ain't gonna happen to me. Right. And it's been happening to every fucking body. Uh, <laughs> uh let's see. Uh, your boy's birthday came up the twenty seventh. Uh, Wheezy F baby. Don't and the F is for phenomenal. I hate that that he's ever said that line in real life, but you know, legend, yeah. Um, no, no legend. Uh, um, hip hop legend. Let's do that. Hip hop legend. 
Yeah, I think I think if you like compare him to like Coolio, oh. <laughs> I, I think you know he's definitely above that stature. I, I will hope so. I will hope he's, he's bigger than Coolio. <laughs> I, th- I think he's right there. I think he's on the cusp of being on either side. So he's on the right. line, I think. Okay. Um, like now maybe, like, he, you know, has he fallen off? Has he been out? Yeah, he's been out he for a while, whatever. He said Carter Six coming. Interesting. Yep, he said Carter Six is coming. Um, top five? Nah. Ten. Yeah, top ten. Okay. High ten, low ten? I think last time we did it, I think I had him at like eight or nine. You keep him there? I think so for now. Um Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with nine. I'm good with Wayne at nine. Uh is there anything he can do? Or he's stuck. I think he's stuck right now. Okay. Well, happy birthday to Weezy F baby. So you say the baby. And uh yeah. <laughs> I tell you, this is gonna be an easy one, bro. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't talking too much about nothing. Um, oh, academics, DJ Academics. You aware of who he is? Yep. Okay. He uh, he said that all the old pioneers. So he's talking like LL Cool J, Kumo D, you know, Rock Kim, Big Daddy Kane. They're dusty. They're old and dusty looking. They're not fly. They they don't make no money. And now he's getting hella backlash because he's not respecting the elders. I think it's disrespectful. Okay. One, I think LL Cool J is still making tons of money making his his Mm -hmm. shows that he makes. Mm -hmm. Um, So he's probably the richest one out of them all. But at the same time, it was a a different time when they came up. You know, they're getting paid peanuts to make mm-hmm. these albums and nowadays people are getting paid off streaming and album sales and this and that and all these other things yeah so the money's definitely a different game now than it was then um but i definitely wouldn't come out and disrespect them it's like you know saying the beastie boys or right you know run dmc you know weren't i, I wish somebody would disrespect the beastie boys like that's legend that's legends right there that, right. that's that's some legend shit. Like you may not like the songs they put out, but you gotta respect what they did. Like they they mixed the they mixed the two genres probably better than Run DMC. Like everybody give Run DMC the credit because they did the song with Aerosmith. Right. I give the Beastie Boys more credit to mixing rock and rap. So my question for you. Before I let you do what you do, how come hip hop is the only genre that does not respect their elders? Rock and roll. They don't respect anything. Right. Rock and roll, they respect the elders. Blues, elders. RB, elders. But when it comes to hip hop, old nigga, get out my way. Because everything's about like new, fresh. I'm going to make more money. I'm doper, flyer, hotter, whatever than you, you know, just mm-hmm. like this kid that won in from Roscoe's like yeah. this guy, you know, people respected him as an artist. And, you know, this guy's like, fuck it. I'm going to take his life. Yeah. You know, we don't respect anything. Man. And the, the irony is the richest person in hip hop are old niggas. It's Dre. It's 50. It's, it's Jay. So I picked up Junior the other day, and he's like, can you get this kid a ride home from football? And I'm like, yeah. So jay Z song was on. Um, it was the one with, I think it was with Mariah or whatever. I can't remember. Okay. But he, but he says Sean Carter in it. Yes. And I'm like, y'all don't know nothing about that. This kid, like, I know it all. He's like, I know everything about rap. I'm like, who's that? I don't know. I'm like, how you not know? And he was like, who is it? I was like, Jay-Z. He's like, yeah, I know Jay-Z. I'm like, clearly you don't. Right? <laughs> clearly. Bruh, like, it's it's ridiculous, man. Um, I, I hear it all the time. Like, even when they start doing these verses, they're like, yo, 
LL Cool J versus somebody. I'm like, they don't LL Cool J don't want to see them. I'm like, it's LL Cool J. Like he he made a whole career of doing what you listen to now. Battle rapping. Yeah, that's just what he does. Um, yeah, like I don't get it, man. Um, and I, were we that way? Did we not care when we was that age? Nah, I think we cared. I think okay. I think it was because we listened to all that. We uh, we, we did. We pumped all that stuff and everything. Yeah, I was explaining to her about LL Cool J because there was a uh, he was trending about how wild he was in, in music videos. It's like LL Cool J, the only person I know, was pouring hot chocolate on a girl's leg while she's sitting on the car. I'm like, yeah, we didn't see nothing wrong with that. Like, <laughs> right? We was, was like, what's what's wrong? Like, and then, then they start quoting them, like LL Cool J songs. I'm like. Yeah, it was a different time back then. It was a different time back then. Like, and that's not even our music. That's the people before us. That's like our, our older cousins' music. Right. Like, and we were still listening to it. So yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's, I guess it's a mumble rap roar, man. <laughs> yeah. I I knew it was different. When you came to me asking about Whoopty, and you was like, I don't know what the fuck is that. <laughs> it's a whole different world. Yeah. Because I, I literally just came from New York, and that's all they played up there. And then I come home, and I hear you talking about, it's a song talking about blue cheese. <laughs> I was like, he's talking about money. you like, I know what he's talking about, but what the fuck? <laughs> right. Nowadays, they just make anything rhyme with anything. They, they make do. up a word for everything. They do. But, you know, the hundreds are blue now. So they call them blue faces. So and money is still cheese. So blue cheese. And he made it work. He only had one song, though. But See? That's why. <laughs> People didn't understand that shit. Yo, they chasing the hit, though. That's the difference between how we was listening to stuff. They're chasing that hit. Like he's he's probably happy with Whoopty. Yep. Yeah. Look, look at look at like we just talked about it. Coolio yeah. had that hit. Montel Jordan had that hit. What did he do after that? No, he was on the MTV Spring Break stuff and all that yep. stuff, hosting that stuff. Yeah, I always wanted to go there, bro. I always wanted right. to go there. But yeah, um, yeah, some people just want the hit, you know, and the other people want they want the legacy, you know. I mean. Because, like, Jay-Z, he didn't want to hit, you know? He wanted – he said, I'm going to do this album, and then I'm gone. And then he just kept doing albums, you know right. what I mean? DMX, albums. He kept two albums in the same year, you know? Nas, two albums in the same year. Like, they didn't care about the hit. Like, you're going to feel the music. Like, these kids now, they just want the hit. That's why they're all putting, putting that shit on TikTok. Yeah, they want to trend. Like, I mean, hashtag such and such, and that's it, you know? Make a dance out of it, you know, and I'm right. good. But I don't know, man. Go ahead. Who 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 you got, bro? So I do have a toxic person of the week. It and I'm not even going I'm not even gonna put him up against anybody. Oh, for real? It because it be I know who this I think guy is. is fucking toxic. It better be who I think it is. Nope, it's not. You don't you, you probably don't even you probably don't know, but Okay. That's why I'm not even going to put two people up and say who's your toxic pitch per post person. If it's not who I think it is. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put this other guy up and see if you're gonna, if you're gonna weigh it out. Okay. All right. Go ahead. So there's a New Jersey man mm-hmm. who divorced his wife 50 years ago or so. Okay. I like it. Let's go. She died in 2017. So she's been gone five years. Yep. Every day of his life for the last five years, he's went and pissed on her grave or shit on her grave for five straight years. So he left her because she got pregnant and he said, hey, that's not my baby. So right. they've been divorced for 50 years. My man got caught on camera taking his current wife together every day. They get up and they have the, the toxicity 
to go there and just piss on her grave every day. How toxic can you be? How much hatred do you have that you get up every day and you don't miss one day? So the caregivers at the cemetery was like, hey, some shit's going on here. We got to put up some deer cameras, some trail cameras. They asked the family for permission. Yep, every day this man shows up with or without his current wife and pisses on her grave. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave mine alone. I'm going to leave mine right where it's at. <laughs> like how much hatred, how much, how much could you have for a person that you spend your life still focused on that person even after they're gone? And, and then for you to be the next woman to accept this foolishness that he's doing every single day. And go with him and do it with him. Oh, she pissing too? Yeah, she's pissing too. They 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 they, they from they from the islands of caucus. Yep, for five okay. years, five <gasps> years, this man's been waking up every day with hatred in his heart. That's and you know what? I gotta go piss on their grave. Damn. You got a picture of this man? Um, uh, I can. I don't have one currently, but I'll get you one. All right. Yes, yeah, so we can post. We can put it up. Damn. That's just sad, right? Yo. So he must really loved her. He must he must loved her to the point where he felt betrayed because she got pregnant by somebody else. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, you bumped you bumped Nick Cannon out of the top spot, and Nick Cannon been there for a long motherfucking time. That's why we ain't did one of these. And uh, you got his name? I want to shout him out. <laughs> Pissing every day for five years. He just gets up and goes take a piss on her grave that takes dedication motivation and frustration you you my friend are a sick individual i am glad you are part of best friends tribe and not mine um (laughs) yeah i don't fucking know I don't have nothing for that one. I don't have nothing for that. Um, damn. So the problem with this is not only, so he didn't go to a regular cemetery. This was mm-hmm. in a church cemetery. Hey, yo. See, so, now it's worse. Yep. So the Tappan Reform Church Cemetery mm-hmm. um, is where it happened. They don't list his name. Okay. One of the one of the people that caught it said, I can't even get my wife to go out to dinner with me. This guy gets his new wife to go out and piss on graves with him. Right. So no picture, no name as of yet. But okay. my man's going to a church cemetery and pissing on his wife's grave. So, Mr. Anonymous, congratulations. You are the toxic person of the fucking month. Yeah, we ain't did one in like a month. So you're the toxic person in a fucking month. You have September. September is all yours, champ. When I heard this story, I was like, this guy is going to be the toxic person. Like, there's just no oh. way. Five years? Five years this man's been doing this. Like, the first, what really started it was they found a bag of shit. And they were like, oh, weird. Maybe something. Who knows? They right. started paying attention. Then they're like, oh. Something's definitely going on. We got to put some cameras up. Then they're like, oh, we got this man on camera. That's, that's, yeah, I, I don't know. I was going to do my man Adam Levine, but Adam Levine ain't got shit on him. Um, right. Adam, Adam Levine's Adam, just a man being a man. This guy's yeah. out here. Just, <laughs> I don't get it, man. Like, how, you know, I've been through a divorce. I've been through a bunch of stuff. Like, I'm not yeah, going to. 
I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I don't care how mad I am. Like, this man should be living his life with his new wife and, like, enjoying things. He gets up every day with the intention, hey, before we go to Brefix, hey, before we go on vacation, hey, before it rains outside, hey, whatever. This is, in his mind, is I have to go to the cemetery. Now, I will say this, and whoever judged me, fuck y'all and judge your mammy. If I was married to her and she got pregnant by somebody else, when she dies, I'm going to piss on her grave at least once. I'm not doing this shit every single day, but she catching once at least. Yeah. Hey, I don't know what I would like. I'd be mad. Maybe I flatten her tires so she can't go somewhere like every day for like a month or something and make her spend that money or whatever. But I'm not getting up on my day off of work or being retired or whatever. I'm like, oh, man, got to go to the grave today. Like, hey, honey, let's go to brunch. Yeah, we got to make a stop real quick. Like, no. What is yeah, I got to shit real quick. Let me get this bag out the trunk while you drive. You're the getaway driver. Yo, she probably would be looking at him like, we don't have to go. We, we don't have. Like, how good is that dick to where you're like, don't worry, babe. I'm going to go with you. Right. And she's okay with it. Yeah, that's terrible. Mr. Anonymous. Um, damn. Five years straight. Five years. Bro, I don't remember anything I did for five years straight except for paying my mortgage. Now, this man, he knows every day, gets up. <laughs> Shit. This, there's literally nothing I do every single day. Probably brush my teeth. Brush, brush my teeth, take a shit in my house. Yeah, bruh. Yo, everything I do every single day, I'm home, bruh. Like, <laughs> bro, like, I've been divorced. I've been through a, you know, and I still sit down next to her at my son's football games, baseball games, whatever, and we have good conversations, whatever. Like, I'm not looking to go do that. You're not, you're not sitting there thinking I'm going to piss on your grave? No, no. And, like, she put me through hell with a lot of shit, but I'm not like, trust me, I like my sleep. So if something happened to her, my ass is sleeping in that day. I'm not going out to do some shit like that. Bruh, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, she she would, she would get one day. It'd be one day I'd fuck around and be, like, pissy drunk. I'm going out there, and I'm pissing. Like, after the fuck you get, bitch, and I'm pissing on the grave. After that, I don't, I don't care no more. I got it out of me. I'm good. Right. Every hey yo. Yo, what's 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 the sad question? Because I'm <laughs> fucked up, right? <laughs> Let me pull that up for us. I am fucked up. <laughs> Every day. That's probably the, that's the title of the show. Every day. <laughs> Damn. What the fuck? Yo, if you have a story like that, where you, are you that upset that you would do that every single day? Please write us at Toxicology Report Pod on Instagram, or you can hit us up at Toxicology Report Pod at gmail.com. We want to know. I want to know if you on that type of time. Because we will shout you out and make you the toxic person of the week if you don't have that type of time. All right, so here's a question from one of the the people. They said they actually sent me a list of questions, like ten. Is it for the black person again? No, it's for anybody. I think it's a. You know how your 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 racist followers are. (laughs) Yeah, ask the black guy. (laughs) So the question is: Could you be with somebody that your friends don't like? Yes, I have. Haven't I, best friend? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Haven't I, sir? <laughs> so, yeah. So, you but do, is that you like. Do a, you do a party with her and everything. <laughs> but that's one person, one or two people. Like, you know, is that like. Oh, it, it, was, it was a consensus after a while. It was a after consensus. a while. Okay. Consensus. <laughs> but. So, how did that end? Was that mutual? Was that you? Was that. Um, how did that end? It was me. I think I just, I, I just separated myself 
after a while. Okay. Um, I felt, and I've told her this, um, I felt uh, disrespected a little, and I felt like not seen anymore. Like she, her, her, her energy was going somewhere else. So I was like, okay, I just backed out. You know, that's why I ain't tell y'all that. So let's uh, let's say her energy is not going somewhere else. Let's say things right. are great, mm-hmm. but all your friends fucking hate her. Every time you go to a family cookout, like I hate that bitch. Why you bring that bitch? Every time you go somewhere, you know, somebody's like, why you bring her? You love her. Uh-huh. Everything's great in your relationship. Okay. But everybody hates her. Well, you said it. I love her. So it doesn't matter what my friends think. My friends don't have to lay with her. I do. So if it gets to that point where why do you keep doing that and why you keep saying that? Either I won't come to the functions no more or she won't come to the functions no more. But yeah, I'll stay with her. But what kind of stress does that put on the relationship if she doesn't come? And how do you yep. say it? Like, you can't come because they don't like you? And then she'd be like, it's fucked up. Now that I, I don't know how I word that. I don't know how I would say that to her. I, I don't know. You know, because if I say, well, they don't like you, most likely the, the, the people that I deal with we're going to have, want to have a conversation with the people that don't like her. So, um, yes, I, I, I like them. I like them gangster. If y'all don't know people. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know how that that conversation would go. But, uh, yeah, I would ride that out, though, because I, I love her. If I if I love her, if it's just somebody I'm dating. Yeah. And then I don't care. But if I love her. Yeah. I'm riding that out. Okay. Um, for me, I think probably, I think probably ride it out. You know, like you said, I'm the one who's got to sleep with her at night and yeah. be happy. And most of the times people be like, Hey, you're the one who's got to be happy. Not me. You're the one who got to sleep with her. Not me. Um, I just think in 2022, mm-hmm. I think people are so judgmental. Um, I, I think that's where shit comes from. So at the end of the day, Hey, you don't live in my household. You don't come over. You don't pay my bills. So I got to do what's good for me because that you're going to do what's good for you. True. So you're over here being happy, making yourself happy, but you're trying to tell me to break up, leave this person. Right. And then I end up being alone while you going out on fucking cruises and shit. Right. Exactly. No, nope, so, not for me. Nah, I'm, I'm going to get over here, get my dick sucked by the girl you don't like. Yep. Have a nice day. <laughs> You keep fucking with us, we're gonna piss on your grave for every for day for five, five years. years. <laughs> me and her are gonna come along. She's gonna pull me along. You coming with me. This yep. is your friend. You're gonna piss on this shit too. Hey. I will go. I will I will go just see how many times she was doing it in a row. Like I would just keep count. Like, yep. Like, damn, girl, you're gonna do this again. How angry are you? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Well, this was a good one. You know, we always have a good conversation, sir. Any any words for the people at home? Um, let the hate go. If you're going to piss on somebody's shit for five years straight, it ain't worth it. Like, get your life together. Go do something that makes you happy. Um, it ain't pissing on somebody's grave. Uh, yeah. Respect the legends, man. Respect the legends. Um. If they didn't kick down the door, we wouldn't be where we are today. Um, RIP to Coolio, RIP to PMB Rock. Um, and don't listen to your dad. That's all I got. For that. That's all I got. For that. Dads aren't always right. Yeah, dads aren't always right, man. And uh, if you have enough energy to piss on somebody's grave for five years, start a business. <laughs> right. Make TikToks. Make videos. Yeah. Shit. Do something. Like how many videos could you have made in five years, you know, trying to get your shit off the ground? Exactly. So, but yeah, um, if you don't like this show, um, I don't know why you listen to us if you didn't like us. But uh, if you don't like this show, we got a whole plethora of other shows on the Sarcarigans Network. You can check us out. Um, you know how we do. This episode will drop on Saturday. Uh, so Saturday. It should be Saturday when you're listening to this. If it's not, then you're not a real fan. No. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, man, stay tuned for the live show. That is, uh, if you're listening to this, it'll be next the next week that you're listening to this. Uh, 
Uh, me and best friend will be on there. We're going to do our, our normal one, two step with a little bit of extra sazon on it. Um, best friend like hot sauce. So it's going to be, it's going to be kind of good. Um, yeah, man, stay tuned. We got some more things coming. You never know. You might see us on the TV one day. So, uh, for the folks out at home, be safe. Uh, for the folks in Florida, um, I'll, the storm should be, have passed by now. I hope you all are safe and made it out comfortably or your house did not get damaged too much. Stay toxic in the videos we trust. And until next time, I bid you adieu.